Hello there, everybody. This is Colleen from the Journal Junkie. Thank you for stopping by. I have a few projects on the go, and I just thought I would take a moment and just kind of show you a quick tutorial on the cutest page pockets that I discovered through Treasure Books. Uh, her name is Natasha. She does delightful YouTube tutorials. And so, yeah, I got kind of carried away the other night. I think many of you would have seen these. I've posted them on different groups that um, I'm a part of. But I thought, you know what, for those of you that haven't seen Natasha's um, tutorial, I would do a quick one for you. I just want to show you the prototypes. Like these are the most adorable envelopes. These are This is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. I, and I only put these uh, cards that I made. I, did, I altered some cards yesterday, so I thought I'll just fill them up today for video's sake. But you can see you could put all kinds of things into these. Look at this mini one. This is a six by six paper pad altered into this pocket. And then I just made a little tag and I used a little mini card that I altered with a cute little charm. So yeah, I'll just show you quickly these ones here, but just the lovely, lovely pockets. I just, I fell in love with them. So I've made several. And I stick ephemera pieces in them, or I give them, I will give them away as gifts, perhaps, stuffed full of personal um, treasures. So, yeah, this is pretty much the gist of it. They take no time at all. So I hope that you'll enjoy this, and I will go through them quickly with you. They don't take long at all. So 12 by 12 sheet of paper. I use two sides two-sided patterns you don't have to the little one the six by six is not that way so you'll see how that looks and then you just decide what which side of the pattern do you want showing um, so here this is what we do I think I'll keep the striped for the inside so basically oh, I can see I didn't cut this down I'm gonna have to do that on this uh, paper pad, you can see the dotted variegated line. I need to cut that off to make it a, a legit 12 by 12. So just doing that now. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I do want to say, I really appreciate each and every one of you. You've really made my my whole crafting. This is, I've only been craft doing junk journals and ephemera um, making things for probably a year. Um, but I've been doing other types of journaling for the past two years. And I just, this is fun. I was encouraged to make a YouTube channel um, by Stephanie from My Porch Prints, whom I purchase a lot of printables from. She's a real delight. So thank you for coming. I just really appreciate each and every one of you. Okay, so here we go. You want to get the corner, corner to corner. Try to be as accurate as you can be. Ignore what I just did there. I use my bone folder just, just because. And then you take the tip of the corner here right down to almost the very bottom. Sort of match tip to tip here. So, there's no perfect science here. I've made some not so straight creases and it still works out. So then you take this corner here, you put your finger at the tip of this corner here and you fold over just to the center of the fold. Same thing on the other side. I'm gonna do it this way. You don't wanna to go to the very, very top because you'll see why when I when I go to, <clears throat> excuse me, fold it down. <clears throat> so then you open this up, fold them in. How cute is that? Now we're not done. So take your corner round punch, just the, the two, um, oops, come on, get in there. 
cooperate. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I just round the corners as did Natasha and I found that it worked very well. Now for the attaching part, you just take the glue and you just glue along the, the upper side of this particular fold. Just want to make sure this gets, gets me enough glue here. So I'm going to fold over to where it actually naturally folded. And you do the same thing on the other side. I hope you can see, see me doing this. I'm sure many of you have the, um, well, what's that glue called? Glitter glue. It comes out beautifully. This is okay, but one of these days I'll get me some glitter glue. So I glue this side over. And then just glue underneath the top corner here because that is what you're going to attach. Right here, you just fold it down where it naturally folds. And there you go. Voila, that's it, all there is to it. So then you find your tags and stuff that you wanna put in. Let's see, I'll use some of these again. So you can actually make um, whatever, whatever you wanna tuck. Maybe this is gonna be a birthday card to somebody. You put special things, it's gonna be journaling spots whatever you so choose, but the ideas and possibilities are endless. You can embellish too, which I tend to like to do. Um, I don't have anything right off the hop to do that. So I just wanted to show you how to construct the actual envelope pocket. So that's the big one. Easy peasy. Let's do the small one. So we got our patterned side. Obviously I'm going to use the pattern side for the inside. So corner to corner. Take the middle of that corner right down to the bottom. And finger at the corner. It just helps you to, to get a better fold on the edge there. Same thing, other side. So you can just I think the other night I watched a Netflix movie and I must have made, I bet you, 15 of big ones and small ones. So it really doesn't take much time at all. Plus I um, embellish them and whatnot. So, oh yeah, I forgot to show you what I do like to do is I like to ink, distress ink the edges, which I'm going to do right now. I should have done that on the big one for you, but this is the very same thing. Just go around the corner. Every edge that you know is going to be visible. Just ink it up. You don't have to ink. I tend to like to do that. Just defines the lines a bit better. Do 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 do. Ink ink ink. Inking inking and more inking. It's a lot of fun. I find it actually therapeutic, to be quite honest. Um, no point in doing the top because they're going to get covered. So, time to glue these babies. Just along the inside flap, upper corner. Into the middle. Bring it down some more. Beautiful day out where I live. I live in Canada, British Columbia, Canada. And today, there's no rain. Lovely, lovely break. I find if the edges don't glue down perfectly here, which I just need to take more time, but I don't have that kind of time today. So this part will definitely have it stick. So... I'll take these out here. 
cute little ephemera pieces, a tag, and the altered mini card. So here, that's all you do. Lots of fun. Lots of fun, ladies. So I hope that was helpful for you. Um, and then you can put them in your journals. Let's see. Let's just say this is it. Well, here, I know. I'll show you a journal. I have. This is the journal that I've gotten a lot of ideas from different people, and then I put them down so that I don't forget them. This is upside down. So I'll find a page that doesn't have too much. Here, okay. So, for example, you could adhere the back, leaving this part open so that when you put it down, you can also use this for a, a tuck as well. Or you could, um, you know, middle of the page, fill it full of trinkets and whatnot. Um, yeah, so I'm sure you could come up with many different ideas. They make, they make cute page tucks. And leave this big one here so yeah if you just if you just double side the uh, sides of this top top pocket you can use that also like that it doesn't match or anything but it gives you an idea you can angle it tuck little things in here whatever your heart desires so thank you for watching I hope you subscribe and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I would be happy to answer them. So thank you for coming. Have a wonderful day.